home builders are doing anything and everything that they can to create incentives to get home buyers to purchase their homes and uh and they're moving properties they're moving properties these home builders they're entrepreneurs they're these entrepreneurs uh are nothing more than real estate investors that are trying to get a great return on their investment and they're not going to let a housing market crash or uh rising interest rates by the fed stop them from attempting to make a profit on their real estate investment that's that's just the truth of it and uh sales of newly built homes they've fallen more than eight percent in june and from the prior year from the prior month rather and they're 17 percent lower than june of 2021 the inventory also rose to a 9.3 uh month supply now at one point during the pandemic i don't know if you guys remember and, and sorry about the noise there's some construction going on here as they're con building these houses out uh, at one point in time, or for a long period of time, I should say, during the housing market boom, we only had a 30-day supply of homes that were available on the market. And this is when we saw um, houses hitting the market and literally being under contract in hours. Um, we saw bidding wars from prospective home buyers just running up the prices of houses. Many homes for sale, they were getting anywhere from uh, fifty to hundred thousand dollars, hundred fifty thousand dollars over the asking price of the listing for these uh, single-family pieces of real estate. Um, yeah, so uh, the the market's different, but the demand is still there, and people still want to buy homes. Uh, people are making it happen. They're emptying their four hundred one k accounts. They are, you know, taking some of these people who are um, selling stocks out of their 401ks in order to come up with more sizable down payments to offset the higher interest rates because many of these uh home buyers they're not able to qualify for as much real estate as a result of the interest rates being significantly higher it's making the monthly payments much higher for prospective home buyers of single family residents to afford chief executive of major builders are saying that uh, that they have to respond more quickly to the sudden turnaround in the market in part by boosting incentives and I don't blame them and after two years of not being able to build homes fast enough to keep up with the demand the nation's home builders are now experiencing a slowdown in sales and an increase in supply now as you can see here some of these um, uh, the, these builders, they're pulling materials through here. It looks like this guy, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what these guys do. Um, but um, he's got some kind of hosing there. I don't really know what he's doing. You guys could probably uh, help me out and tell me what that might be for. I don't really know. But, you know, after two years of not being able to build homes fast enough to keep up with the demand, the nation's home builders are finally experiencing a slowdown in sales and a slight increase in real estate supply now the sales of newly built homes they've fallen uh, about a little bit more than eight percent in june from the prior month and we're about 17 percent lower compared to june of 2021 um but uh but yeah uh pulte group if you guys saw my previous video pulte group they're one of the nation's largest home builders and they recently reported on tuesday that net new orders for its new homes in the second quarter they were actually lower by 23 percent compared to you know this time last year now the company's cancellation rate was also 15 percent compared to the seven percent in the prior year period so you know the question is will the fed crash the housing market in their attempt to raise interest rates and offset inflation you guys let me know what you think i have my own uh predictions and expectations which i've shared multiple times on previous videos but i want to hear from you guys and uh pulte uh pulte group ryan uh pulte group ceo ryan um marshall he said previously that they have to work harder to sell homes and they have to be more nimble so you know what we're seeing is that some of the smaller home builders are actually able to be a little bit more nimble than some of your your bigger national home builders 
um, home price appreciation has slowed down and it has actually stopped in some areas uh, but through the use of incentives it's able to take a few steps uh, toward increasing the demand for real estate so um, and a lot of their incentives that they're implementing right now uh, they include uh, mortgage discounts specific mortgage rates like like very aggressive mortgage rates uh, for home buyers of new construction properties they're also looking to expand and include discounts on options and lot premiums now the median home price of newly built homes uh, sold in June was four hundred and two thousand dollars which is still up seven and a half percent compared to a year ago but you know you, the housing market it has been experiencing double digit price increases so to only see a single digit price increase uh, certainly proves that the housing market is slowing down a little bit and the builders are actually getting help from uh, lower commodities prices uh, we did see a surge in lumber prices we saw lumber shortages which drove up the price of lumber and um, and so with and so with lower commodities prices right now especially lumber um, they are actually uh, they're actually able to kind of increase their profit margins on these houses now a builder doesn't want to have to lower the price if a builder can increase their profit margin don't think that they're gonna pass those savings on to you guys and, and on to me right they're gonna say okay um, we can make more money on this property as a result of commodity prices being a little bit lower they're not gonna drop these prices not if they don't have to not if they get I mean even if they have to let let the property sit for a couple more weeks a builder would rather let it sit a little a little bit longer and because the thing is is if they let one house go for a little bit less that's going to impact their future sales because you know that's that's what real estate prices are based off of it's comps so if you lower your comps by uh selling one house at a discount well now you're creating like a downward uh pressure on the sales of the additional houses that you have for sale so a builder would much rather give you a discount on your mortgage rate if they can work out a deal with the lender and a lot of these builders they are working with a lender in fact some of the builders can work out a deal with the lender that they're using to build the homes because most of these builders don't have uh, you know four five six eight ten fifteen million dollars and as you can see there's there's more there's more construction back there so like it'll go like this this construction uh this new build this new community here goes all the way down the street and then it goes to the right and then it comes up around there so it, they're probably going to build i don't know uh 50 homes maybe 60 homes in this neighborhood so a builder's financing this and the bank that they're working with is more likely giving them some kind of short-term loan not the best interest rate but the but you know the builder's not planning on holding on to the loan for so long they're planning on flipping these houses as soon as they're built so what the builder could probably do is say hey bank that's financing the uh the construction of these homes can you offer me a special rate for my home buyers so that i can sell these properties faster so that we can maintain these higher real estate prices and we can attract more home buyers right and then the bank's going to be like you know if they if they have the capital available which which you know a bank they're just going to go to the to the federal reserve and say hey you know <laughs> i need some cash so i can lend it out and they're going to add their little markup and but the bank is going to say hey you know why wouldn't i want to help this builder out because we want to get our our construction loan back we want to get our construction loan money back so let's help this builder get these homes sold we'll keep these home price values high and um and we'll make some money over the next 30 years with the home buyers that purchase the homes through their you know special financing so uh we're gonna see more and more of this guys this is a developing situation i will continue to share 
new information with the community as new information continues to come out i will continue to share new information if you made it this far in this video drop a like for the video really appreciate that you guys let me know if you have any questions for me you're looking to invest in real estate if you're looking to sell a property or if you're looking to buy real estate let me know i look forward to hearing from you guys and you guys have a great one take care